The original Gogon Yueshiao was a fantastic 3x3, but how does the Yueshiao Pro stack up against it? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack. Today, I will be reviewing the Gogon Yueshiao Pro M. Let's get into it. When I first started getting into speed cubing, the first cube that I personally bought was the Goguan Yue Xiao. It was a great 3x3 that had a smooth hollow feel with fantastic corner cutting, and I loved it. But now that the Yue Xiao Pro is out, how does it improve upon the original Yue Xiao, if at all? Let's find out. The Yue Xiao Pro M is a 55.5mm 3x3, making it half a millimeter smaller than the original. Interestingly, the non magnetic Pro is 56mm. I haven't actually used the regular Pro, so I'm honestly not sure if that is the case, but both the cube stores I checked said those measurements. The magnetic versions that you see here weigh 3.2 ounces, with the non magnetic version of this puzzle weighing 2.9 ounces. The Yue Xiao Pro M is available in black and stickerless, with the regular Pro having a white option. Both the black and stickerless shades are really nice, and they have good contrast. The Pro M comes in a nice white and blue box and includes a Moyu cube stand. Team Moyu and Goguan cards, a tensioning tool, a screwdriver, a pamphlet, spare magnets, and of course, the puzzle itself. Out of the box, the Yue Xiao Pro M had a sandy feel and honestly didn't perform well. I would lock up and catch quite a bit, and it couldn't corner cut very well. However, I found that putting Galaxy and some optional weight 1 or 2 speed through from Speed Cube Shop worked really well in this cube, and my Pro M's are now smooth, well performing 3x3s. With the lube and the puzzles, performance improves substantially. I rarely lock up, and when I do, it's usually my fault. Although, to be fair, for some reason I have a harder time executing Y perms on my Black Yue Xiao Pro M than my Stickerless Pro M. I'm not sure why that is, but I thought I would mention it. Tensions on both the puzzles were really good out of the box, and both the stock tensions allow me to corner cut an insane amount, well past 45 for forward cuts and line to line for reverse cuts. One of the things that sets the Yue Xiao Pro apart from other high-end 3x3s on the market is the lack of squared off corners, something implemented into basically every 3x3 these days to prevent corner twists. I have gotten one corner twist on each of the Pro M's that I have, but it really hasn't been a problem on the combined 200 plus solves I've done on them. This is due to a new corner design which Goguan calls a quote polyline type anti-corner twisting design. When you compare the corners of the Yue Xiao and the Yue Xiao Pro, you can see that the Pro has a sharper stock. The corners aren't hollowed out like the original Yue Xiao, and that plays a big role in how both the cubes sound. Take a listen. The magnets in the Pro M are definitely on the weaker side, and for this cube that works really well. You can faintly feel them when turning slow, and they aren't really noticeable when turning fast. The cube is also really stable, and the magnets do their job well in both the stability and in the turning. I also want to mention that twice now, an edge has popped out on my black Yue Xiao Pro M while spamming TPS. I think that's happening because I'm aggressively turning on looser tensions, and I think the Yue Xiao Pro M is a little better for those with a light turning style, as a super aggressive turning style will create a pop every once in a while. This problem could be solved by tightening the cube, so that is something to keep in mind. So what are my thoughts of the Yue Xiao Pro M? I really like it, and it's definitely a contender to be my main. However, don't just take my word for it. Let's hear what another cuber says. Take it away, Spotty! Hey, so to get right into it, I don't actually have the magnetic version, but I do have the non-magnetized Pro, and I really love it. When I first started playing around with it, it didn't strike me as anything special, and it definitely wasn't good enough to become my main over a GTS 2M or SM. It was just a bit slow, it didn't have the best stability, and it did corner twist more than normal. Since breaking it in further, the speed has improved, but the performance still isn't as good as the magnetic flagships. However, I have really come to love the turning and feeling of this cube. The crunchy and tactile feel is something that I don't get in other cubes I've tried and is really, really lovely. If I did get a magnetic version of this cube, I'm sure it would have massive main potential. But those are my thoughts. Thanks so much for listening and thanks so much for having me, Jack. The Goguan Yue Xiao Pro and Pro M retail for $19.95 and $26.95 respectively on speedcubeshop.com, which I think is a great price. 
The Cube has a nice controllable feel when lubed and has strong performance all around. If you'd like to purchase this 3x3, the link will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe not only to my channel but to Spotty's as well. She makes great cubing content and I would recommend you check her out. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.